What's going on YouTube? This is Arcotech here and today I'm bringing you a video that's about Evolve, the game Evolve. And here's what it looks like when you get it and it comes in a pretty cool 3D blah 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 case which is cool, it's like a pole print of a fucking dinosaur or whatever. And you open it up and it's cool inside and it's got a season pass, oh my god! Which is really fucking funny because I bought the game and there's a cute girl at fucking GameStop, so I was like, alright, I'll buy the extra $25 season pass. Even though I don't play Evolve that much anymore, it's kind of a fucking boring game, to be honest. I uh, don't even use the extra character season pass, monsters, whatever. So let's go over some pros and cons. I wanted to do a review in this video. First of all, let me let me just go into detail. I'm not going to be showing gameplay, but you, do, you start off as a support, assault, medic, and trapper. Now, as you level up in the game and play more and more you can actually unlock new and different characters so there might be um a fucking different type of support or a different kind of assault or a girl assault instead of a guy i mean there's all different kinds of fucking different characters for the class so support assault medic trapper trapper pretty self-explanatory you know it's a giant fucking monster in the game right a giant Goliath, or, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, and uh, we'll get back to this in a second. But so you're basically trying to kill him. the the main The main game mode is called Hunt, uh, Skirmish Hunt, and the support is going to support your teammates as far as shielding them and things of that nature. Uh, the assault is going to be complete damage. I mean, you're just dealing damage. You're the fucking tank. You're the damage dealer. The medic, which is honestly my favorite, is you're going to track the mon- uh, well, you're going to stun and tranquilize the monster, and then you're going to also heal the team, which is fucking awesome. And then the trapper, you trap the monster. I mean, hello, it's fucking called a trapper for a reason. So you trap the monster, which is cool too. Um, <laughs> I wanted to go back to this. I thought it was really funny. Winner of over 60 awards. I'm not sure if this is wiener or winner, but either way, they're fucking wieners because this game should not have gotten 60 awards. I, I don't even know. I mean, if we took the zero away, right, I don't even know if we should have given it six awards. I, maybe zero. Zero is more accurate. They fucked this game up so bad. Like, I don't even, I knew it was going to be a dead game as soon as I got it, and uh, I wanted to just give it a chance. And, I, and I, you know, I gave it faith. You know, even though it says right there, Turtle Rock and 2K Games are the ones who fucking produced this game and developed it, which, uh, you know, 2K Games made, uh, what they fucking made, some basketball game, Borderlands, which is gay, and, uh, and I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that, but I just never got into Borderlands, never fucking got into Borderlands at all, I just, it wasn't for me, um, <laughs> it's not for a lot of my friends, a lot of people I know do not care for Borderlands, um, regardless, let me, let me continue here, uh, I still gave it faith, um, Turtle Rock, Turtle Rock made, uh, Left 4 Dead, and I think they uh, also co-developed uh, Counter-Strike. So they had a fucking name for themselves. They really did. And um, I just really wish that uh, the game would have a story. It had no fucking story. And you're basically, it's all multiplayer. There's, all, I guess they try to put a story in it and explain to you some things in different game modes. But it's fucking retarded. It's kind of like Titanfall. I really wish there was a story in this game. I think they could have done a kick-ass job. You know, you play as a main character. Um, you know, kind of almost like Gears of War. Like, you, you play, as, uh, play as the assault guy. And you're, you're the assault guy. And, and that's you the whole game. And you're basically attacking the monsters. And the monsters wage uh, war, uh, siege on your fucking city. And, you know, that would be fucking sick. And then, and then you can come back and play the game as the monster. Uh, you know, trying to go against... The rebellion of the people who are, you know, fighting against them, which would be fucking kick-ass, right? I think that that would have been sick. But no, there's no fucking story. Um, they fucked us again right in the ass. And some people like that. I mean, some people like it in the ass. I, I, I don't. Um, hunt together. Kill alone. Choose your side. I just hopped on to play a game. Um, today is fucking, what is it? May 29th, 2015. And... It still took me like four minutes to find a fucking match. So there's not that many people on this game anymore, guys. Um, the other thing is, it's just dead. I mean, it's just a dead game. I think everyone knew it was going to be a dead game when it came out. They tried. Um, another pet peeve I don't like is all the maps. All like eight of the fucking maps you can play on look the fucking same. I mean, 
It's like, I'm in a jungle, okay, next map. I'm in a fucking jungle again, okay, next map. Oh, I'm in another jungle, but it's raining. Okay, I'm in another jungle, but it's snowing. It's fucking retarded. I mean, they should have, they could have done anything. They could have done an underwater map. They could have done a fucking, it's snowing, and, and there's ice on the ground, and fucking scalag kites falling, and fucking Santa there, and they could have done a pyramid one in the sand with sand castles and dooms and fucking pyramids. I mean, they could have done anything they wanted, but they fucked it up. I mean, really, it was kind of weird. Um, I, I don't know that the maps were all that great. Uh, literally, you run for fucking ever. You're running to find the monster before he hits stage three. Basically, there's stage one, two, and three. You have to find him pretty much before he gets to stage three and kill him. Uh, if not, then he has to have a certain amount of time to either kill all of you or attack the power relay. If he kills the power relay, he wins. If he kills all of you, he wins. So you want to get him, and, and he's just running through the jungle eating fucking monsters and other creature alien fucking looking um, dinosaur animals. And as he eats them, he gets stronger. And as he gets stronger, he can then evolve into a bigger monster and with more powers and more level ups in different fucking categories like flame breath and all this shit and power leap and whatever. And then he becomes invincible and you can't fucking kill him, which is ridiculous. So you want to get him before stage three. And I get that. But it's literally run to this side of the map, run to that side of the map, run to this side of the map, run to that side of the map. And it's kind of fucking boring, but it had potential. It really did have potential. Um, it could have been a lot fucking better, to be honest. I mean, it could have been a fuckload better. Uh, everything in here is totally one of those pay-to-play shit games. I mean, pay-to-play, pay to play, man. They got skins for your weapons, and, um, buy fucking map packs, and buy this, and buy that. And it's kind of, like, really pissing me off that you can't fucking, um... There's no story mode. I mean, that's it. There's no story mode. Like, everyone just plays multiplayer nowadays. No, it's like a game like this that fucking blows uh, as far as the multiplayer aspect and as far as that, it needs to have a story. I mean, if it had a kick-ass story with different modes, I mean, you guys got to remember, back in the day, man, you play fucking whatever it is, uh, Gears of War, anything, I keep going back to the fucking Halo, and there's, there's different fucking types of modes, and I mean, I, I got a kick out of it, you know, once you beat it on fucking normal or easy, then you go up to hard, and then you go up to sane, and then you get to super extra fucking cheesy fucking ridiculous, and it's like super fucking hard, and then it's like, okay, I'm gonna kill myself because it's fucking too hard, and then it's like, oh my god, I want to break my fucking TV, it's so hard, so there's different levels, and it's like super fun to do that, and they could have even added a, a co-op mode. Oh my god, a co-op mode? That'd have been sick. Co-op campaign mode? That'd have been fucking badass. And the multiplayer, my vision for the multiplayer, I was really excited for the game because I thought it was going to be different. I thought it was going to be really cool. I had a great time playing it when I did, but, you know, Turtle Rock and 2K, you guys are fighting against Halo, Master Chief Collection that came out. Destiny and all of its glory and shit. Call of Duty fucking, you know, all these other fucking games that are coming out that are fucking way better, and I'm probably missing a shitload, and you can drop comments below, but you're not just making a game and expecting it to fucking work. I mean, I, I really think that if they would have came out with this game, and they would have put it off um, for a little while longer, uh, it came out February 10th, if they would have put it out a little, put a little while longer, and they would have came out with it like, I don't know, September of this year, 2015. And I know some of you are thinking, wow, that's far. But, you know, summer break and all that shit, and, and I really think that it would have done better. And if they would if they would have spent that extra time to put a story mode in it, right? And it would have just been kick-ass, man. The story mode would have been fucking phenomenal with tons of monsters, and you play as a main character, and with all the AI, have fucking vehicles. I mean fucking outer space the monsters came from space and they, they're somehow genetically mutated and whatever it'd be fucking sick i also think that um the multiplayer i would have really done a game mode called like uh you know i don't even know monsters versus humans or whatever um and i would have done that and it would have been sick man i'm telling you i think i think if you had five like maybe a little bit bigger map and you had maybe like Eight on eight, right? 
or, or, or five on eight. I don't know, five monsters and eight fucking trappers, or, or five monsters and and 15 trappers. That would have been sick, because everybody wants to play as the monster. I, you know, when you get a game, it's just like, oh my god, I'm the monster. Yay, I get to wreck all the fucking people that I'm playing against. But the chances of you getting to be the monster are very slim. I mean, if you're playing with people exclusively, it's not going to work. I mean, you're not going to become the monster more than likely. But playing alone, possibly you can become the monster. And, and, and you know, they even have a, a system in there where you can set which role you want to play as. So if you want to play as the monster, you set that role as your number one, which I did. And I think I've maybe played the monster like 20 times. Like, not that many for the amount of times I've played. I mean, out of 40 fucking matches, i played the monster maybe 10. I mean, it's just really weird. Um, they could have done a lot better. They could have had a game mode where there's more monsters and more people. And, and don't tell me they couldn't because they totally fucking could have. You know, where, where there's 10 monsters versus, um, you know, 20 fucking, 20 fucking guys or whatever. That would be fucking super, almost like a big team monster bash, right? That would have been fucking kick-ass. Um, what else do I want to talk about, guys? I'm just looking at my board here. Um, I actually take notes when I do a video. I actually, like, write what I want to talk about. Oh, that's kind of weird. IGN. Gave them a fucking nine, a nine out of ten, a nine, a nine out of fucking ten, which is completely fucking preposterous, fucking ridiculous. Oh my god. Um, it's adventurous. That's a pro. It is kind of adventurous. You're running. You know, it's almost. I wouldn't call it a MOBA strategy. Maybe a little. Maybe a little bit of strategy. Um, it's more so a first-person shooter. Um. Fucking calls it the best shooter of the year. That's so fucking retarded. Um, let me see here. The monster's really fun. Hunt mode's really fun. There's not that many pros to it, to be honest. I really, I really thought Turtle Rock and 2K Games could have really brought, brought it to, you know, be a better game. But it, it wasn't. It's really dead now. I mean, fuck. Nobody on my friends list plays Evolve anymore. Uh, is it worth buying? Uh, to be honest, I'm going to recommend you guys no. I mean, it's not worth buying anymore. It's a dead game. Uh, to be honest, go watch some YouTube videos on it. I wouldn't buy it again if I could or had to. I mean, it's just not worth it. Um, of course, if they want to send it to me for free, sure. Uh, if they want to offer me a job at, at Turtle Rock or 2K, I'd be more than happy to fucking uh, not work there. <laughs> no, I'd give them some tips, though. I mean, they could have done a lot better job. Evolve 2 could be fucking the sickest game in the world, but they need to add a lot of stuff, and they need to take out a lot of the pay-to-play shit. Uh, it makes them look like shit. It makes them look like money-hungry fucks. And if the people aren't playing it, they're not going to want to pay for it. You can always add updates later and then charge people for stuff or ask them to buy things. But if you, you know, if they would have started with a kick-ass campaign, kick-fucking-ass campaign, then, you know, um, it could have made it. It could have done something. It could, you know, it could have, it could have gone somewhere. And, and, and the multiplayer, you know, they had too many versions of it. I think it's retarded. I think they really should have had. Um, the standard hunt mode, like a big team battle mode, uh, you know, where there's multiple monsters versus 20 fucking, uh, you know, or whatever. It, they they could have done so much more than I think what they did. And, and the maps fucking blow. I mean, honestly, I think my neighborhood would be a cooler map than fucking this shit. I mean, the map sucked. I mean, you know, I don't want to play in the fucking jungle nonstop. And, and you got to think, like, well, where do monsters roam? But, I mean, they could have done anything. They could have had a city one, a New York City, uh... A theme, uh, they could have had, fuck, anything. I mean, at this point, anything. Anything would have been better. Anything would have been a lot better than what it was. They could have even had, um, you know, the monster has to secure multiple locations on the map. Or whatever. And they could have had vehicles to where your teammates actually... And I, I, and I really don't think that... Um, I personally think, fuck the medic and the trapper and all that shit... But maybe what would have been cool was have the, you know, maybe the trapper, but have the assault guys have maybe like, you know, it's 10 on five monsters or whatever, right? It doesn't fucking matter. It, it doesn't. But I have it to where you have to kill the monsters, right? And there's no medics and none of that shit. But have like helicopters, come like Comanche helicopters, like fucking tanks you can drive, fucking four-wheelers, like, that type of shit, and you have to, like, kill the fucking monsters, man, and, and you're on, like, vehicles and shit like that, um, driving all over the fucking place, now, that would be sick, I think that would be fucking kick-ass, right, and maybe the monster's goal is to, to, to tear down a building or something, and actually tear it down, destruct it, um, right, which is your headquarters, or it's, it's, 
the beacon of hope or whatever, or they're trying to get into the castle and, and you're trying to protect it, whatever the fucking case may be, I think that would have been a lot sicker than what the fuck they did. That having having an epic fucking story to me means the world and then having a great multiplayer without all the add-ons, without all the bullshit pay-to-play shit. And I think this game would have really brought it home for Evolve. I really do. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. I don't have a whole lot more to say about this game. If you guys had any additional comments, make sure you guys uh, hit those, hit hit those, hit that like button. Hit the comments below if you like this video. Make sure you guys hit that like button, guys. I really appreciate you guys, your support, you guys watching my videos. It means a fucking lot to me, and I really appreciate it. Um, once again, guys, this is the Arco Tech. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Check out my latest videos. I'll be coming out with more reviews here soon. If you guys want me to do a review, let me know what you want me to do a review on. I'll go buy the game if I don't have it, or I will make a review on the game and put it out. If you guys had any questions for me, anything else you guys wanted to, to see or, or, or know, uh, make sure you guys hit the, you know, just let me know in the comments below. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the Arco Tech.